Rodan and Fields is just a pyramid scheme and you have to have tons of product and inventory on hand. Simply not true. My name is Joni Long and I'm a speech language pathologist and I have been a brand rep with Rodan and Fields since 2017. Today, I'm super excited because I'm actually gonna be talking with a sideline sister, that's what we call them, sister from another team. <laughs> um, and we're gonna be discussing two misconceptions or two myths about Rodan and Fields that we hear that are just simply not true. So let's get started. All right, so Mia, would you please um, introduce yourself and tell us how you started with Rodan and Fields? Yeah, so my name is Mia McKitterick. I am 34 years old. I'm an art teacher, been teaching art for, this will be my 11th year. Um, and I have been using Rodan and Fields products for four years, but a consultant for three years. Um, I was loving the way that I was noticing the changes in my skin and decided that I wanted to be a bigger part of that than just washing my face and keeping the secret. So I decided to um, become a consultant, jump in, try something kind of brave and bold and new that I had no idea what I was doing. And it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. That's awesome. Okay. So today we're talking about myths, right? Um, and me and I are going to just share a couple of, we're going to start with two myths and we'll do some other, um, episodes and share two more myths, but these are the top two that we kind of hear a lot. Um, and the first one that I want to talk about is Rodan and Fields is totally a pyramid scheme. Okay. That is the myth that scares people off, scares you off. Like if you're looking for something to do, obviously you don't want to do a pyramid scheme. Okay. Here's I'm, here's how I'm going to debunk this. All right. Well, first of all, like pyramid schemes are actually illegal. So <laughs> if this were truly a pyramid scheme, we would no longer be in business. You know, we've been in business for over 10 years in this channel. Um, so if it truly were an illegal pyramid scheme, then I would not be here talking to you. Okay. Second of all, pyramid schemes really are, what that is, is that the company is not really selling any product. It's selling an idea and it's continuing to bring on consultants or reps who are paying to come on and that's how people make commissions, but they're not really selling a product. Obviously, this is not that. 70 to 80% of Rodan and Fields revenue is from customer purchases, from products. And the rest is from consultants, you know, ordering things because we want to order them and we love them. So that just totally blows that out of the water. I mean, we have products that we sell. Truly, those are the two main things. It's not illegal because we're still around and we actually have a product that we sell. Okay. What is your myth that you hear a lot um, of Mia? Oh my gosh. So in the three years that I have been doing this, um, I have heard countless numbers of people say, I don't know. I don't really want to do that because I don't want to have a bunch of inventory. So I brought this box because I just wanted to show you this. <laughs> this is how much inventory I have. This is it. This is fits in one little box. These are my samples. These are product samples. I do not carry any inventory at all. Um, I think that what happened is, you know, people think back to, I'll give two examples of companies. Um, think of like LuLaRoe. Um, a lot of people know about LuLaRoe. You had to purchase, I think it was like $3,000 to get a closet full of stuff. You didn't have any choice in what was in it, what patterns, what sizes. They just sent you what they needed to sell. You had to set up a room in your home in order to display it. You had to, to make videos of you holding it to sell the things that you had. And some people love that. And some people were like, nope, big red flag, cannot do that. So when they think of direct sales, their mind goes to that. Or something maybe a little more similar to what we're doing is more like Mary Kay. Um, I just signed a consultant a couple of weeks ago and she used to be a Mary Kay consultant. And we were sitting down having coffee. And the very first question she had for me was, well, how much inventory do I have to have? Because I still have inventory from Mary Kay from three years ago. So she still has a closet full of makeup and skincare that is expired, 
Nobody wanted, she didn't, she didn't, wasn't equipped to sell that to people in person. And so she's sitting on a graveyard of this money that she spent and she can't do anything with it. She can't send it back to the company. She can't sell it to anybody. She literally just has it in there. And she's like, I don't know what to do with it, but I just can't bring myself to throw it away. So I think that those two things are what people think of when they think of direct sales. They think of, you've got a bunch of stuff. You've got to like hold it, Vanna White it, show it off, display it. You have to take it to parties and try to, you know, hack it on people. That is not what we do here. We have this box of samples. And if somebody is interested, I pull one out and I mail it to them. And then I have about this much space on my kitchen, on my counter in my bathroom, it takes up this much real estate of the products that I use on my own skin because we're like a wear and share company, right? This is my billboard. I don't have a storefront to show you stuff. This face of my mug is what I am selling to you. And it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> it's the changes in my skin. So we just wash our face and wear it. We don't have a warehouse with our stuff in our own home. Our company is amazing. They take care of the shipping from the warehouse straight to my customer. And they're not going to send you something that is expired or almost expired like my poor, my poor friend with her Mary Kay. Oh, okay. So I thought of two things as you were talking. I actually did sign recently a consultant who had been with LuLaRoe and her first question or her, her, her hesitancy with me was how much do I have to carry? And I lost, listen, $7,000. I'm not even, she bought so much and it was past the time that she could return it. She couldn't give it away. Like she couldn't give away her inventory. So she ended up donating it, you know, to Goodwill. I was at Goodwill. I was getting ready to say that. I was at Goodwill and yes. I was like, it was with my daughter. And I was like, Poppy, look, it's a little road. They've never even been used. They're like five bucks. And she was like, mom, nobody even wanted those when people were selling them. Oh, Poppy. But I it's know heartbreaking. It's so hard to hear that. And we don't have that. Like people order from your personal link and it all gets sent to them. The second thing that I was thinking about that I forgot to mention when I was talking about pyramid scheme was, um, so these are the proactive doctors. These are world renowned doctors who have, who go and speak at these ginormous conventions for doctors and dermatologists. Um, there is no way they are going to risk their name, their legacy, their everything for something that's not legit. So, I mean, that's anything that get that happens with this company. I always go back to that. They've got way more to lose than I do. So everything they do is going to be on the up and up and it's going to be good. Absolutely. So, and I, when you were talking about pyramid schemes, so in my head, a pyramid scheme was literally any direct sales. When I was younger, I had no right. idea what that even really meant. Um, I mean, there were cartoons about it and you know, trying to sell cookies and they're all in your garage and you can't get any, nobody wants the protein shakes. Like it was, a, it's a legitimate like fear that people have, but I really don't think, obviously they are illegal. So I really don't think that there are any of those anymore. They have a council that has got their thumb on, on everybody in direct sales. They check everything. And Rodan and Fields is really a big stickler about that because they don't want it, our name being tainted at all. I will get emails that say from compliance that say, Hey, you mentioned this one tiny word in your post. I want you to change that because it gives the wrong idea. And I'm like, Oh man, I love that they do that though, yes. because it helps to make our company stay compliant. It helps us to stay legal and to not further push that idea that we're a pyramid scheme. Um, also, I, I don't have a ton of consultants, but I make really good money. And I think that's a, a really good sign that this is not a pyramid scheme because I make more money paying attention to me, my customers, my business, my products, than I do focusing on you and yours. So if I recruit a bunch of people nothing happens. Like I don't really make that much more money unless I'm selling my product and I'm promoting. Exactly. And so I think that's the part where I, where it kind of clicked with me is, you know, I don't have to have a huge team to be successful because this isn't a pyramid. I'm not at the top 
of here trying to get all these people to work for me, even if I do have all these people to work for me, I make a bigger commission off of my own personal sales. So I think Rodan and Fields has kind of figured out the way to, you know, some people love being a team leader and building a team. And that is, we, we have that opportunity for you to make more money that way, but you don't have to do that in order to make more money. And I think that's, what's really refreshing about this business model. Yes, exactly. I love, yeah, exactly. I love that you said that. I've talked about that in other videos. Like you can make a really good paycheck purely on products. Yeah. Um, so that's awesome. Okay. So, I mean, we're not, what do you think we should talk about next time? So two more myths, um, mm -hmm. we'll have to think about it and we'll come back with some juicy stuff for our next, um, myth busting <laughs> MLM myth busting episode. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Can't wait. All right. Hopefully that was helpful with helping you decide if you want to look further into becoming a consultant or a brand rep with Rodan and Fields. Um, if you are watching this video, my guess is, is that you have a little bit of curiosity and interest in um, at least talking about it. So be sure to subscribe to this channel. Um, you can send me a message on Instagram. You can email me. We can set up a time to chat and I'll answer all of your questions. 